Here we're going to be looking at warranties or product guarantees and we really have two basic methods of handling these warranties here. We can either account for them using the cash basis method, that's where we charge the warranty cost at a period in which it complies to the warranty here, or two, we can use the accrual basis method where we charge the warranty cost to the operating expense in the year of the sale here. And we really have two methods of doing that here. We can either use the expense warranty approach where the warranty is included in the product product cost or uh, the second approach here is use the sales warranty approach where the warranty is sold separately here from the product cost. Now we're just going to be going through an, a basic example here and we're going to be uh, comparing the accrual expense method here to the cash basis method here. And for example, we're going to have an office equipment company where they sold 500 printers here during 20X1 at a cost here of $12,000 each. That was their sales price on these printers here. And during 20X1 here, the company spent $60,000 servicing a two-year warranty that would be included here on these printers. So they have a two-year warranty on the printers here. So let's first start with our expense, expense warranty approach. Now, we're, the estimated total cost of servicing the warranties here uh, for that two-year period here is $240,000 or $480 here per printer here. And again, for the two-year warranty here, total costs were estimated here at $240,000. So let's go and look at how we'd record this here warranty. Uh, so the in this case, the warranty included is included here in the product cost. So what we would do here, our total cash or accounts receivable on these sales would be the $12,000 per um, printer here times 500 printers, you're going to come up with $6 million here of sales here in the first year at 20X1 here during 20X1. So what we would do here is we go to our balance sheet, our cash or accounts receivable on these printer sales, we debit that here for the total amount here of $6 million. Remember, 20X1 here. Then we go over to our income statement here. Uh, we're going to have some sales, recognize our sales rent revenue here on these printer sales. And we're going to recognize the total revenue amount here of $6 million. So we credit our sales revenue on our income statement for $6 million. Now we have to deal with our warranty expense here on these printers. So uh, remember, let's, let's look at our warrant, warranty expense here on our income statement. We'll look at it here first. So uh, remember, we have warranties and costs incurred here in 20X1. So we would, have, and that was for $60,000. So we debit our warranty expense here on our income statement for $60,000 here in 20X1. Now, the other thing we have to do is we have to also accrue the remaining costs here on that warranty. Remember our total costs here were 240000 and we experienced $60,000 of cost here in year 20X1. So the remaining amount here, the difference, $180,000, we have to accrue the estimated warranty cost here. And so what we would do is we're going to recognize that total warranty expense here in the income statement in 20X1. The $60,000 that was um, the actual cost here for the year plus the accrued amount here $180,000 that we calculated. So here we um, charged off our total warranty cost in the year of the sale. So in this case the cost matched the revenues. We received all our revenues here, or recorded all our revenues on those printers here and we're going to also record all our warranty expense on the printers here. Okay so question is how do we deal with this $180,000 expense here that we recognize here in 20X1 here as um, because we charge our total cost here in that year here total cost of our warranty cost how do we recognize that here for 20X2 so what we would do here is we go up to our uh, we have set up this liability account here at, on the balance sheet and we, we call it a warranty liability here for those printers. So in 20X1 we would credit that here for $180,000. That was th that expense that we uh, recognized here in 20X1. So we would accredit a liability account here for $180,000 here. Now when 20X2 comes along here this is where we would actually uh, recognize the warranty or reduce our warranty liability. So we would debit out our warranty liability here in 20X2 here. Uh, so we're going to come up by $180,000. So we're going to have a zero warranty liability here because our two years is up here at the end here at 20X2. And that debit amount here in our warranty liability account here goes and the credit amount here would go to our, our cash inventory or accrued payroll here of $180,000. So that's 
our warranty costs here in 20x2 on those 20x1 sales here. What I mean by CAD, that's our really our parts and labor here, inventory costs, uh, parts and labor costs on the warranty of those printers here. So 20x1, we would have credited here for the actual warranty costs here of $60,000. And then for 20x2, we recognize the uh, $180,000 here as warranty costs on our balance sheet here for the uh, inventory, the labor involved in these warranties here. And that was a result here of our warranty liability that we set up here in 20X1. Credited that for $180,000. 20X2, we would have debited out here for $180,000 and then we recognize it here, um, credit amount here on our invent for our uh, parts and labor cost here on the um, warranty for those printers here of $180,000. So here, just looking at this method here, we're actually, or with our uh, expense warranty approach, we're uh, matching our cost here in the warranty with the rev total revenues that we receive since we recognized all the revenues here. Now let's go up here and look at our cash basis method here. Now this is where we charge the warranty cost to the period in which it complies with the warranty or as the costs are incurred here on this for this warranty here. So again, we're using the same example here where we have a $60,000 worth of cost here in the first year 20X1 and then let's just say the remaining uh, 180,000 is gonna be recognized here in 20X2. So again, total, uh, warranty cost of $240,000, same as our previous example here. Now again, the warranty is included in the product cost here. So we went through that here, we calculated our total sales of $6 million here in 20X1. So again, we would have recognized our cash or accounts receivable on our balance sheet for those total sales debited here for $6 million, again, 20X1. And then we would recognize that as a sales revenue here on our income statement, again, for those printer sales. Total amount here, credit at here for $6 million, again, in 20X1. And now, when we come to, uh, with the uh, cost method here, all we're doing is recognizing our warranty costs as they're incurred here. So for 20X1 here, uh, we would have credited our materials and labor account here on our balance sheet for the actual cost of $60,000 and then we'd recognize it here as warranty expense for those printers on our income statement here for $60,000. Remember in 20X1. And then when the next year rolls around here, let's just say the actual cost incurs were the remaining balance here of, of $180,000 here um, for 20X2. So again, our labor and materials on our balance sheet here, we would have credited that here for $180,000 and then we would have debited our going over to our warranty expense on our income statement, we would have debited that here for $180,000. Remember this in, is in 20X2. So here, using this cost method, we didn't recognize all those warranty expenses in the year of the sale. We spread them out as they were incurred here. And there is a consequence with this here. So. 20X1, we had 60,000, 20X2, 180,000. Total warranty expense here was $240,000, but they were recognized in separate years here. So the point we wanna make here is these warranty costs here in 20X2 on the income statement are charged to unrelated revenues. And the warranty costs are not matched with the revenue. See, we, what we've done here is we recognized all our revenues here in 20X1 of $6 million, but we didn't rec uh, recognize all our warranty expense. We only recognized 60,000 here in 20X1, whereas, uh, and then 20X2, $180,000. So on our, for our net income, this 180,000 is gonna be matched with whatever sales revenue, unrelated sales revenue here in 20X2. So they aren't matching. Our warranty expenses don't match with the sales revenue that we recognized here when we made those sales. All right, so that's just an overview here of the difference between the cash basis method and the um, uh, expense warranty approach here. So remember with the cash basis method, you're not, we wanna make the point here, there, there is no warranty liability here set up on the printers here. So we have, uh, we don't accrue any warranty liabilities. It's not accrued, it's not written off here. So all we're doing is uh, matching or taking our costs here as they incur and recognizing as warranty expense. So we're not matching our uh, warranty costs here uh, 
with the revenues here. Just remember that. So that's the key point here. Now the cost uh, basis method probably works here in the long run, but uh, just for matching uh, costs or expenses with the revenues, uh, just through the problem we work, work through here, you can see that there is a problem with that here. But maybe over the long run it works, but just for our basic example here, we have a problem. So warranty liabilities not, a, not accrued here using the cost method.